Hello, and welcome to Remote EMDR's video guide. In this video, we'll review Remote EMDR's control panel and its various functions. The platform's main control panel is located at the bottom of the session screen. It contains all of the buttons that control the BLS and its different features, as well as the connectivity icons, the copy link button, and the end session button, all of which we'll review towards the end of this video. Before we start, please note that by default, the control panel will be minimized automatically whenever you move your cursor away from it. If you would like the control panel to remain open at all times, click the push pin icon, located near the screen's bottom right corner. Let's begin with the toolbar's central part. This is actually a detachable player that can be removed from the main toolbar and moved freely around the screen. This way, you can maintain a full-screen display of the session screen, but still have access to the platform's basic functions while the main toolbar is closed. To detach the player from the main toolbar, click on the small triangle at its upper left corner. You can now drag and drop the player around the screen and rotate it horizontally and vertically by clicking the circular arrow button. To insert it back into the main control panel, drag the player down to the bottom of the screen and place it in the middle of the panel. Once you do that, it will snap back into place. The play button will start the BLS set, and the stop button will end it. Note that the BLS will only stop after completing its current repetition. Next to the play and stop buttons, you can see the time left for the current set and the number of completed repetitions. We'll now move on to the four tabs on the screen's left side. General, Display, Colors, and Sound. In the General tab, you can determine the BLS speed and control each set's duration. Choose the Infinity Duration option for Continuous Motion. The Duration Type button will allow you to choose whether to set the BLS duration by the number of seconds or by the number of repetitions. Last on this tab is the Therapist View button. Remote EMDR's default therapist view has the visual elements located at the bottom of the screen to allow for an optimal view of the client throughout the entire session. However, if you don't wish to see the visual BLS at all, you can change the therapist view to no visual elements. If you would like to see exactly what your client sees on their side, choose the client perspective option. Now let's review the display tab. First on this tab is the type button, which lets you choose between several types of visual stimuli, horizontal and vertical scan, diagonal scan, horizontal and vertical saccade, infinity symbol, reverse infinity symbol, or sound only, with no visual BLS at all. The height button lets you determine the element's position on the screen. One is the lowest and 40 is the highest. By clicking the Elements button, you can choose whether to display one visual element or two. The Shape button allows you to choose the visual element's shape and size. Moving on to the third tab, Colors. Here you can set the colors for the session screen's background and the visual elements. You can change the colors for both the interior and exterior parts of the visual elements to suit your preference. Last on this part of the control panel, we have the Sound tab. The Sound button enables you to choose who will hear the auditory stimulus when it is turned on. The default setting is Client Only. You can also choose to turn the sound off for both sides or on for both sides. The volume bar allows you to set the auditory stimulus's volume. 40 is the loudest. 
The sound type button lets you choose between three sets of sounds that can be played as auditory stimulus. Effect, music, or nature. After choosing your sound type, click the button on the right to view the list of music tracks or sound effects available in the set you've selected. Let's move on to the right-hand side of the screen. Here, you can find the connectivity icons, which indicate your and your client's connection status. In this session, the green circle next to Lior's icon indicates that he, the therapist, is connected. Bob, his client, is not connected, so his icon is still marked in red. Once Bob joins the session, the circle next to his icon will also turn green. The copy link button will copy the session's invitation link to your clipboard, so you can easily send it to your client. Finally, we have the end session button and the session duration timer located right underneath it. The timer will start running as soon as the client joins the session and will indicate how much time has passed since it started. Remember that all of your client's preferences as you've set them during this session will be saved automatically once you exit the session screen. For more information on managing the session screen's presets, click on the link in the top right corner of the screen now. This has been our review of Remote EMDR's control panel. We hope you found it clear and helpful. For questions and support, please contact us at info at Thank you for watching.